In this video, I'm going to teach you how to attain optimal alignment of knees, ankles, and arches. The concepts that I'm going to use have originated with my teachers, uh, Elaine Summers and Sam Chin Fan Seong. The, I notice when, I, when I'm outside all the time, I see people where their, their feet are out and their knees are caved in. And that's called pronation. And it's bad for the following reasons. One is that the, the knee should be, when all the weight is on one leg, the knee should be directly over the center line of the foot. And what happens is when it's caved in, it's pinching on this side and it's stretching on this side. The pinching causes the, the, the cartilage, which is very thin on the edges, to be, to, to be worn down. So over a period of time, you have the wear and tear of the cartilage. The, on the other side, there are, well, there are ligaments on both sides, but the ligaments on the inside are being stretched, which um, ha affects the integrity of the knee and makes it more susceptible to, to being sprained. The next thing is the ankle. When you cave in this way, the ankle goes out of joint. And instead of being centered the way it is now, it, it moves over. So it's part of the way towards being sprained. And I'm sure that a lot of ankle injuries come from, the, uh, from that. And then the other thing is the arch. When you cave in, if you know, I'll stand this way, notice how the arch collapses. See? Knee goes in, the arch collapses. And the arch is important because it, it, when all the pressure is on the inside collapsing the arch, it's putting tremendous pressure on this first metatarsal. And that also causes um, but things like bunions and calluses. It also r removes the springiness of the arch. It's one of the springs of the body. So here are some exercises which I've uh, learned and, and, um, and have evolved from uh, things I learned from my teachers. This is one that is to, the purpose of this exercise is to feel the centers, to recognize where the centers of the feet are. And the idea is to have the center of the weight distribution centered on the center of the foot. So what I'm doing first is I'm bringing my knees in. This is what most people are good at. And now the weight is on the inside of my foot. And now I'm bringing my knees out, opening this. And now the, the weight is on the outer edges of my foot, on my feet. And the, each time I do that, go from inside to outside, I'm crossing the center line. And then I'm going to take smaller and smaller excursions until I feel that I'm directly on the center line of my feet, uh, center lines of each feet. And that means that the weight distribution is centered on the center lines. Uh, and it doesn't matter how much weight is on that foot. If I add all, all the weight to this foot and this foot is empty, the, we're almost empty. The, dis the distribution of weight is still centered on the center of this foot, etc. Doesn't matter. If I shift to the side, I'm not doing this. The weight is still centered on the center of the foot. There's some weight on this foot. And my whole leg tilts in its correct alignment. So that's the first exercise, is the excursion sideways, in and out, and then getting the centers of the feet. These exercises are only for recognition. Once you have recognized where the centers of the feet are, you don't have to do these, you can put these exercises aside. The next exercise is to shift the weight and turn, keeping the, the correct alignment. So what I want to do is shift into the left foot and turn. As I turn, my knee isn't going in this way. It's staying where it is, right over the center line of the foot. And I come back, and now I'm going to shift into the right foot, my right foot, 
and turn, and the knee shouldn't be doing this. It should be absolutely stationary. I'm not holding my knee there. Actually, I'm relaxing. And once you get this, and the muscles become more balanced, that is, one set of muscles usually is much tighter than it should be. Once the muscles are balanced, you can just relax completely, and it'll find that correct alignment. Back and forth. Here's another exercise, turning the hips. Turn the hips back and forth. And as I do that, I'm not doing this collapsing. One knee is going forward, the other knee is going back. And that's the goal in this exercise. I don't have, at the beginning, you may have to use your eyes and your analytical mind to know that you're doing this, but eventually you won't even have to think about it because your body will recognize how to do it and your subconscious mind will do it. The third, another exercise is the following. What I want to do is stand with my feet close together, bend my knees, and what I like to do is have the centers of my knees be the same distance apart as the centers of my ankles. And then I'm just, I'm not using my hands, I'm just resting my hands and turn. See how I'm not doing that. My knees are continually the same distance apart. And my feet aren't wobbling, I'm not doing this. So that's the goal. Thank you.